Hey, so uh, this video took a bit longer to get out and I don't know if you can tell but I'm a bit sick and that's that's why it took so long to get out. But now it's here and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and yeah, the next video definitely won't take this long. Yes, that is my base, about to be destroyed by some MLRS rockets. And the people firing them at my base are my close neighbors, living not even one grid away from my base. This was their fourth raid attempt on me in four days. But let's take it back a few days, long before all this. I had just put down my base up on a hill in the middle of two clans. But this story will only focus on this one group, since my encounters with this other group was mostly them just roof camping me. I put down a level 1 workbench and I crafted a revolver. I had already got my hands on a blue card and so I headed over to train yard to do the puzzle. When I had my first encounter with one of the neighbors. Ho, ho, ho. I'm too fucking good. <laughs> I stashed a semi kit at base and then I continued to roam around the map. And I found a DK base. Ooh. After that, I managed to get my hands on a pretty good airdrop. Oh, yes. Then I heard some explosions coming from a base close by. I really need this stone for the base. Yes. Oh, I got a hollow site too. I don't have the BP. Yes. That's like one of the few BPs I don't actually have on the server. I used the C4 I got from the airdrop to raid a decaying base. Oh yeah, this C4 is enough. I guess this is okay. It's nothing special. I have to wait for the rest of the DK, just DK. Then I went out to get my hands on a few more guns.
After this, I spent the next few hours just building on the base and putting down a compound. Also, I think it's time that I explain why I build my external gates like this. You see, all my external gates work sort of like its own little flank base. And each gate has its own sleeping bag and kit. This makes defending early raids much easier. And it also costs a lot more for the raiders to grief if you're offline raided. But okay, after finishing the compound, it was time to continue filling the base up with loot. Those guys are gonna be a problem if they go online soon. Because they're gonna block me every time I run home from train yard or from like this side of the map. They are gonna be in my way. And if they start roof camping, that's that's GG on this side of the map. I'm not gonna be able to fight. I spent some time farming and I was doing some upgrades to the base, when my neighbors came over to take advantage of how small my base was. What the fuck? No! Fuck, I should have finished him. Fuck off.
have you not? And just like that, I had just defended my first raid. They had underestimated how much my base would cost, and so one of them left with the minicopter to get more explosives, leaving the other one to hold it down. I got the drop on him, and well, after killing him, there was no chance for them to get back inside. And I could patch up the base. I guess that was sort of a raid defense. Oh fuck, now we have a target on our back. I, don't even, I haven't even fought them yet. Uh, I don't get it. Because it's, it's the people down here. In K, K10. No idea what I've done to them, but... I guess this is how, how it's going to be now, so... I continued building on the base, but then as I was scrolling through Twitter, they came back for round two. We go again. I don't know what these guys are doing honestly. I don't know what, what they're trying to accomplish by this. How did this guy die? Most of us fell, fell in I guess. At least there were three then. Yeah, I was as confused as you are at this point. And I had no idea what these guys were doing. But I think I can explain what happened here. So three of them came over to raid me. They blew through one door and then this guy jumped down and got stuck. They didn't have any ladders on them and so he had to give all his loot to this other guy and then kill himself and respawn back at their base. This guy leaves with the minicopter to pick up that guy, leaving this guy to hold down the raid again. I pushed out killing the guy meant to hold down the raid. And just like that, my base was safe yet again. After this I finished up the base and secured the inner peak, so if they came back it would be pretty easy to defend. But I had some other things to worry about now, because a trio decided to build their base right outside my compound. And then they started to door camp me. I really needed to raid these guys. After this my neighbors took down Heli and it went down right outside my base. So I went over to see what I could do. But so did every other group on the server.
Where are people coming from? Study. Bro, <laughs> this guy. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, I need to get rid of that base because that's just like having bases this close by, it's just an annoying. I mean, there's so many guns here, like, <laughs> I've just been picking up one by one guns off the floor. I'm getting quite a lot. Definitely didn't lose anything from this. It's one by one, <laughs> collecting guns. One after another. Well, that was something. I didn't really lose anything from this, just a lot of time. I now also really wanted to raid these two bases next to mine. They were just way too close for comfort. But as you could tell, my area was way too grubby at this point, and so I spent the next few hours just farming and building on the base. Another clan next to Launchite took down Heli, and so I grabbed a full kit and headed over to Counter. Fuck off. Couldn't get that last crate, but fuck it. I'm just leaving with this. I have an M2. And another full kit. A pretty decent haul. After this, I started to work my way down the tier 3 tech tree. Then I heard a raid down the mountain and so I headed over to check it out.
Oh my god, this was so needed. We needed cloth and low grade. So this crew doll is so good. Yeah, this counter raid was big. And with the scrap from this, I could take 3c4. And so I crafted two, and then I headed over to raid the base next to mine that had been door camping me a lot. Okay. Let's get rid of these annoying neighbors. I'm pretty sure I have enough. If I did my math correctly, I have enough. You're not keeping that compound bar. Ah, oh, Kelly's out, I need to take it. As I was raiding, Heli came out, and it didn't look like the people inside the base were online, and so I figured I had the time to take it down real quick. Oh, that was pretty shit great. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest heli ever. But anyways, after this I finished the raid. Oh, so worth it. Get rid of some annoying neighbors and a bunch of loot. Even though this raid was mostly just about getting rid of some annoying neighbors, it wasn't half bad. But anyways, I had now been up for almost 20 hours and it was time to get some sleep. I wasn't asleep for more than 4 hours, but during this time, the people that had fail raided me twice online decided to finish the job while I was offline, and I logged in as they were transferring my loot. Gotta be kidding me bro. I managed to seal the base before they could get back for more loot, but they had still won, and they were happy about it. Sorry, I had an offline humans, sorry. 
10 on top man, K10 on top Really? Yes, yes you You're gonna talk shit too? Sorry man, I don't have to end you. Blueprint his back, man. There's still some stuff in there, yeah. Come uh come raid us man. I still had everything in my external gates and so I grabbed a gun to clear the compound. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen. Like, I didn't even go offline for that long. But I knew, like, as soon as I went offline, I knew I was gonna get raided. I knew people were just waiting for me to go offline. Oh, this sucks. Luckily, they didn't get everything. I'm so glad I actually went on now. But I've been off. I've been offline for four. I, I went to bed for four hours. Got four hours of sleep. <sighs> Used so much, bro. At least we have one AK kit left. I wanna see, I don't think I left all my... As much as I wanted to in these uh, external loot rooms. Yeah, I didn't. Fuck's sake. I'm just, I'm just telling you guys that this swipe, I'm not online raiding uh, the, big, uh, the big group. I'm going for the offline raid, and even more now. Like, if, if they were nice, maybe I would go for the online raid, but now that they've been off, first offline raiding me, then waiting for me to get on, just to be toxic. Like, <laughs> they don't deserve an on online raid. After this, I'm so gonna get rid of those guys. First of all, I need to finish up the base completely, so that doesn't happen again. Because yes, even though my base was pretty strong and they used quite a lot of explosives, it wasn't finished, and so, like, if I just put a bit more time in yesterday, I could have gotten up to some turrets and shit, but, yeah. I mean, like, at least we didn't lose everything. Like, at least we still have loot. It's not like we're starting, completely starting over. Like, we still have loot. It's just that we have a lot less than yesterday. Okay. I guess Paris were we start again. So before anything I fixed up my very broken base. Then it was time to fill up my boxes with loot again. After getting back a few guns, I grabbed a pump and went over to the door camp to clan that had just raided me.
fuck off, man. Just already you, uh, I got your fucking M2, bitch. <clears throat> go, go, fuck off. Yip, fuck you, yip. <laughs> fuck off, yip. Actually, fuck you, man. Fucking yip. I think I'm yip. Fuck off, yip. Man. Yip, you are actually bad. You are actually bad, yip. What the fuck happened to the gun? I mean, they're offline raiders and roof campers. Like, I don't give a fuck what I have to do to get rid of those guys. I'm gonna do it. So annoying. I mean, I know they're not. They're not gonna try and online raid me. Like they're probably gonna do just the, the exact same thing tonight. Like when I go to bed. I don't know if I should fucking sleep now. <laughs> Wake up in a few hours just so I can stay up all night. Or what I should do, or if I should just all night it and just don't go, not go to sleep. Because if they're just gonna keep raiding me every single night, like. I'm not going to be able to do anything to them. And yes, this was a big concern to me. If they were going to raid me every time I went offline, this would not be a fun wipe. And so my plan for this day was to just finish up the base. Of the many hours, the base was finished and secured, and it was time to start collecting guns again. Yo, the rally was shit, dude. GG. The person I just killed for this full kit lived in a village on the other side of Train Yard, and this was my first encounter with one of them, but I had heard them take almost every single heli all wipe. And so after depoing the full kit I headed over there to see what they were up to.
I realized that it was impossible for me to get any loot from this with all the turrets, and so I ran away. But these guys will play a big part in this wipes finale, and you definitely don't want to miss that. But for now, it was back to the grind. A clan next to Launchite got bombed by MLRS rockets. I headed over there with a the pound to see what was going on. Somehow I managed to get out of there. I then heard some shots down the hill and went to check it out. I noticed that my neighbor's turrets were off, and so I went to take a look inside of their compound. They turned the turrets back on, but I was still able to get out. I also noticed that I could see onto the roof from my base, and so I decided to annoy them a bit more. They were leaving their base with rocket launchers in a scrap heli. This only ever means one thing. I think I'm going to raid the... Uh... You sex, these guys.
Got something at least. <laughs> I'll take this. This was a good haul. And it made it even better the fact that I stole it from my offline raiding neighbors. But after this, both me and my neighbors logged off. Next morning when I woke up, I heard some shots over by Launchite, and I went to take a look. Cargo ship came out and so I took a minicopter that I bought earlier and went to counter. Do I have it or? I feel like it should be, it's always one more. I'm just gonna go with this, just leave with this. Bro, I fucking hate the fog, it's so annoying. I can't see where the water begins. Like, it's so annoying. You can't see where the water begins. Much fucking loot here. <laughs> There's too much loot. Okay, let's just leave with this. Time to go.
This was my most insane cargo ship run in a long time, and I could have probably gone back for a third inventory. But the night time came along and I started to hear a raid down the hill from my base. At this point I had more loot in my base than I knew what to do with. But I didn't really care about that. That wasn't what this wipe was about. All I wanted was to see my neighbor's base wiped off the map. And so I think it's time now that I explain just how I was going to do that. But for that let's go back to just after I got an offline raided by them. I was standing there looking down on the people who had just taken everything from me and I was thinking of ways to get back at them. You of course have the old reliable where you farm up a few boxes of sulfur, craft that into rockets and just send it. I mean you've seen me do that a bunch of times. But then I remembered what Rust had just added to the game. MLRS rockets. This is honestly the most OP thing they've ever added into the game. And it's also the easiest explosive to find, having a 50% chance to be found in an elite crate. And well, that's what I've spent most of my time doing after getting offline raided. Just running the launch site puzzle for the three elite crates and every time I would get between one and three MLRS rockets. And so now at this point I had almost two rows of these rockets, which wouldn't be enough to raid them just yet, but I was starting to get pretty close, and I figured I'd be able to do the raid tomorrow. Now all I had to do was not get raided. Ah oh, shit. My neighbors were trying to shoot out my turrets. I had a feeling I knew exactly what this meant. Oh god.
Get an angle on them. I need, to, I need to focus the guy in, in raid base. I f bro, the lag right now is crazy. Germany, you say unterlassene Hilfeleistung? Sau.
trying to get Man, no mates are just shit, man. Fuck me. There's <laughs> so many of them. Name one. Who cares? It's a GG. And just like that, the raid was over. But it was a little bit too easy for the amount of people they had. And the fact that they had a raid base. 
but that apparently what had happened was that the village on the other side of train yard had come to counter and they apparently got away with half of the rocket. And so after I stole the other half, they had no boom left. And well, after losing the raid, they gave all their loot away and left the server. And so the MLRS rockets were no longer necessary. They had gotten off the server without that. But it still didn't really feel good. It kinda felt like I had done all those launch height runs for nothing now. But I still did had two rows of MLRS rockets. And so I decided to use them. And the only other big group that I had really fought with and was still on the server was this village on the other side of Train Yard. And you know, they did also kinda ruin the raid earlier. And so I decided to hit the biggest base in the village. So many seeds to sow When the harvest comes in it will be Time to share what we have grown We were having the time of our lives when we started Everything was groovy But I'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted West Side Story don't feel pretty Spent the bulk of our days feeling free, like we were properly stoned. Till you liked everything but the likes of me, I can't help but recall. We were having the time of our lives when we started. Then there was a free for all for the loot. And with this base almost completely taken off the map, this story comes to an end. But what a wipe. Thank you so much to everyone I fought this wipe, and please don't send them any hate. All of this is just some fun rivalry, and I couldn't do these videos without them. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, join my Discord server, and go and follow me over on Twitter. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.